promised. Um, I have now uh, all of the ice cream out that I got today. Now this is the Bluebell ice cream. This is the stuff that I was talking about in the podcast. And if you haven't seen the podcast yet, go back to episode 104 and you'll see it. <clears throat> and um, what I did is I, I went through and I bought a sampling of ice cream from Ulta's down in Kent. And uh, this represents the majority of what they carry, but they do have some other flavors. I was just getting up there and uh, we didn't have a whole lot of space left in our refrigerator for, I don't think we could have fit, well, we probably could have fit more ice cream, but um, any case. So Bluebell is, uh, this one is uh, from Brennan, Texas. So, as I mentioned in the podcast, I grew up with this stuff, um, mistakenly thinking that it was something that was produced in Louisiana. It's not. It's made in Texas. It's actually made in Alabama as well. Uh, But that said, it's kind of like the local uh, ice creamery that is similar to another ice creamery up in Vermont that has uh, two letters in its name. Um, so we're going to go through and we're going to taste all of these. And I've got my family, uh, off camera who are willing to lend their opinion on the ice cream, but they're not willing to get on camera because they're camera shy. We'll convert them at some point, but for now they're off camera. So I'm going to take a first, this is the cookies and cream. Um, this looks like your standard cookies and cream with a dark chocolate cookie that we all know and love. That is very much so cookies and cream. Okay. So, while I'm moving on to the next one, I'm going to hand this off to the girls. Somebody's going to have to get their hands on camera. There you go. And while you're tasting that, I'm going to go over to the Cookie Two-Step, which is vanilla-flavored ice cream with chocolate cream-filled cookies and chocolate chip cookie dough. Ooh, so this is cookie dough and cookies and cream all in one. All right. You can see it's a little warm out here. It's melting on me. This is good. My take on, I think I got a cookie dough part. It's a little bit darker of a chocolate flavor than what you would get with other um, cookie dough ice creams. All right, so now I'm gonna move on for two in. I'm going to move on to the fruit flavored ice creams. Now, I'm not much of a fruit flavored ice cream type person, but the wife is, and of course, I'm sensitive to her needs, so I figured one of these might be good. She might enjoy Brown sugar taste. What do you think of that one? I don't like it. You don't like it? It's sweeter. Well, my, my take was is that the the cookie dough portion was not as uh, what I remember. Mm. Like, growing up as a kid. See, you remember when we were growing up as kids, we all ate the cookie dough out of the little round thing? Well, this is what we're doing essentially right now, but they must do something to it to make it safe. Because everybody said it's unsafe to eat it like that. And I turned out fine. <laughs> Okay, so this one, I think that's pretty good. So that's the banana bread pudding. Mm. That's good. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's good. Now, imagine taking the Bananas Foster Caramel Ribbon and mixing that through there. So you'd have a Bananas Foster ice cream. This tastes like a... 
the three. It tastes like the three cheese. Yeah. No. No. Three color ice cream. Oh Mod? yeah. Nepal. Uh, yeah, the, the Neapolitan. Neap- yeah. All right. So this next one up is mm-hmm. strawberry, and I can already see strawberry chunks yes, inside. Hey, don't eat everything yet. Mm. Come back to mm. it. All right. So this is strawberry. You like it? This reminds me of a strawberry daiquiri. So you mix a little rum in there. Oh my god, that does not look up. What do you think? Mm. Oh. This is good. It's good, huh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tastes like real strawberry. Mm-hmm. There's strawberry chunks in there. Mm-hmm. Well, oh. I guess I know which ice cream is going fastest. Mm, this is good. In the house. All right. So this is peachy peach. Natural, well, of course, artificial. Okay. Okay. I can get behind this. It's very refreshing. That with some uh, some whipped cream on top. Even though it's not orange, it kind of reminds me of an orange juice. Mm. I don't like it. You don't like it? It's different. In what way? I've never had this peach ice cream yeah. before. This one is, uh, well, they call it pecan pines and cream that goes with that saying. It should be pecans and the mm. What's nice about that is it's almost like a candied pecan. And of course, you've got the ribbon of praline in there. Mm-hmm. And if you don't like it, it's probably because of the caramel. Yeah, yeah. That's, that would yeah. be, mm-hmm. but I could, I could totally eat that. I could eat that all day long. It's not that sweet. No, it's not. <clears throat> but it is very much like your, they make a butter pecan. And I thought, ah, he's got the pralines and cream. She's going back to the banana. The banana. <laughs> mm. All right. So the next one up is Java Jolt. Now, it's clear this is doesn't go with their standard branding. So this is coffee ice cream with dark chocolate flavored chunks and a coffee fudge swirl. So this is going to be, I don't know, if, I mean, do they have to list caffeine as an ingredient? Huh, it doesn't say anything about coffee, but whatever. Mm. Okay, so this is an intense flavor. I like this one. This would be the kind of thing that you would have as like an after dinner <clears throat> ice cream. Get a little bit of that ribbon in there, the chocolate ribbon. That's good. You like that? It tastes a little like bitterness from like espresso. Right. My daughter's very first exposure to Dr. Pepper was not as a soft drink. It was as a scoop of ice cream. And wouldn't you say that you prefer the ice cream to the drink? Mm. Yeah. Turns out that the Dr. Pepper flavor is a sherbet, not ice cream. So that gives it kind of the foamy texture. So this is brand new, and when it first came out uh, a few months ago, couldn't keep it on the shelves. We certainly couldn't get it up here in the Northwest. After the chocolate ice cream, it tastes a little 
different. It's like anything else. You taste a bunch of flavors side yeah. by side. You just don't know which one's which. I would agree with you guys, though. I would say that the banana's up there. Mm-hmm. I think my favorite is banana and strawberry. Mm. Strawberry. The strawberry? Mine's strawberry. So yeah. the two, two classic fruit flavored ice creams were what you guys... So definitive definitive not like so was the, the second one, the cookie two-step. Right, that had the. Oh, I do not like that one. Okay, well that's dramatic. But okay. <laughs> you didn't. That wasn't your favorite either. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah that's, but it's good. It's still good. You know, I the thing is, is that there there's a certain flavor profile with the cookies, uh, the cookie dough, and I'm used to the one that comes in the big two. Like I, like I was saying, um, the one by Bluebell seems to be a bit more like the, the chocolate flavors is a bit different it's not it's not bad but it wouldn't be my first choice if i had. if you took all the fruit ice cream that we've had and put like a scoop of each and then put a slice of that fresh fruit for that each one of those fruits i think that would be a really decadent dessert i think it would be mm-hmm. really, really good so that's my my personal opinion. Um, so my choice would actually, believe it or not, I think would be the banana. As it's really? Yay! The banana. Actually, all three of the fruit ones I like. The peach was, I think, was okay. And the peach with, with fresh peaches or nectarines would be really good. Yeah. That- anyway, all of these flavors that I showed you today that we just tasted through um they're all available at Alta's in Kent so he brings it in uh weekly so the best time to get the best selection is Saturday morning um that's it from Mailbox Pete thank you guys very much for joining us doing this taste test and thank you to my lovely wife and daughter for adding secondary opinions I appreciate that And, uh, okay.